Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your first 1,000 followers on Twitch. Please note that this isn't going to happen overnight. These tips could help you grow, and I really suggest doing them. If you have any questions about the video, please go over to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash AJZO25. I'm always down to talk there. I'm always down to help you guys. We have a wonderful community over on Twitch. Means a lot. I know you want to grow, man. Let's do this. Hi, I'm, I'm ready to help you. Whenever you first start streaming, you're always going to start at zero. Unless you get a boost from someone you know, you're going to be at zero. It's going to be hard to grow at the start. So one thing you shouldn't do is be looking at numbers. Do not look at numbers because numbers could be very demotivating to a lot of new streamers because getting off that one or two viewer mark can be very difficult for many people when you first start out. I'm going to get into how you could get over one viewer over all of that. But one thing you shouldn't do is streaming 24 seven. Twitch has a very bad algorithm where when you have one or two viewers you're not getting shown by anybody it's very hard to get in people's recommended it's very hard to grow so what you basically want to do is you want to start on other platforms something like twitter instagram youtube or tiktok have way better features on growing on their platforms and you could get unrecommended easier on those platforms and if you could get like a little fan base from any of those socials which are way easier to grow on, you could bring them over to your Twitch. I'm going to tell you guys how to grow on those socials in a second. When, when you do that, you want to, you want to kind of like schedule your timing. So like you have a certain time when you stream for me, myself, um, I usually stream around like seven, 8 PM EST. So people know when I'm going to go live, it just helps people know that you're going to be live at that time. And they're going to be there every day or whenever you say you're going to be live, they know when you're going to start and it's going to be very beneficial towards you and your channel. Don't stream 24 seven because when you stream all the time, you're not putting time into anything else. And that you could, you could set a time, maybe like a four or five hour stream. If you really want to go long, the time that you don't stream, you want to be working on your other socials like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. that could, all of those socials should be growing with your channel on twitch one thing i see a lot of streamers doing wrong and one thing that i personally did wrong for a while was favoring some of my viewers and it just led to a lot of viewers feeling not welcomed as much as others you want to welcome everyone as if they're they've been there for from you from the start you want everyone to feel welcome, everyone to feel amazing when they come into your community. Whenever someone comes in, it will tend, like, if, if you welcome everybody, it will tend to grow on your, your older viewers, and then everyone will welcome everyone. Maybe if you welcome one person, when a new viewer comes in, that viewer that you welcomed before might welcome the new viewer, and it just feels more of, like, you feel more connected with your viewers and more together it just it's just good overall to welcome everyone make everyone feel welcome don't favor your viewers like if you're gonna play with viewers make sure you don't play with one viewer every single game and then the next viewer comes in and he only plays like two games with you make sure if you're gonna be playing with a viewer even and out for everyone you want everyone to feel like they're getting the same treatment another thing is don't change how you are and try to be like someone else be yourself because let's say it's me and let's say tim the tapman right tim the tapman is his own person if i try to act like tim the tapman to try to get the numbers that he has why would you watch me just watch tim the tapman he has way more viewers he's a better streamer be yourself trust if you try if you try to be like someone else then you're gonna be you're not going to be, you're going to be compared to them. You want to be yourself. You don't want to be like anyone else. Be yourself, build your own brand, make this channel your channel. Don't make it like anyone else's. A big part of that comes with personality. Again, just be yourself, dude. Like it's not that hard. Just chat with people, like have a normal conversation with someone in your chat as if it's like your friend, you know, IRL or like someone you're going to talk to, like 
they're coming to your channel to be friends with you, not to be friends with another viewer because you're trying to act like them. So just be yourself. One thing, some things like you should avoid is, which don't get me wrong, they will get you views, they will get you followers. It's a way of inorganically growing. And it's by doing things like, I know in um, Fortnite, I'm not sure about other games, but in Fortnite, it's um, fashion shows and like 2v2s, 2v2 box fights. But like these things could help you grow. But I, know, I see people doing them 24 7. That's one thing you want to avoid. If you're going to do something like 2v2 box fights or you're going to do some custom games or you're going to do a fashion show, make sure it's not 24 7. It's a good way to connect with new people, but it's not a good way to grow your community like that. Because if you do fashion shows all the time and you do custom games all the time, it's either it's going to be not toxic, but it's going to be they, they're only coming to your stream to do like for the game. They're not coming for you They They want to come so they could win. Like it's like if you were if I'm doing a fashion show and let's say I have 10 people who want to do the fashion show, I could come back and just do regular duos with like one of my homies and they're not going to be there because they're like, hey, I'm here for the fashion shows. You're not doing fashion shows. I'm out of here. So try to stick with you could do those things. Don't get me wrong, but don't do them 24 seven. It will hurt your channel. Trust me. I've seen people do it. I've seen people literally get thousands and thousands of followers of fashion shows and then they switch games where they they start averaging 50, 60, 70 viewers. They go to another game, they're only averaging five. It really is not a good way to grow. I do not suggest doing this at all. Unless you could do it every once in a while. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Do it every once in a while, not 24-7 like I see a lot of streamers do. When, when growing on other platforms like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, um, what, what I would suggest is going through your feed on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok and see what's trending. Try to try to do what's trending, but in your own way. And if if one person sees that, it's not going to happen overnight. But if one person sees that, they could share it with a friend and then it will just it will just keep going. If you got to make you got to make original content so you could stand out from others. And another thing is you want to be pushing out content as much as you can when you first start. You need to get yourself out there before you can make quality content. When, you, when you're making TikToks, post like two or three a day. This is one thing I want to work on. I want to work on posting multiple TikToks a day, multiple Instagram videos a day. When, when you post, when you just spew out content after content after content, more people are going to see that. Keep, keep the quality content for later when you actually build a fan base and you have people to hype up the content. That's when those videos pop off. When you first start off, you just need to start spewing out content so you get yourself out there. Then after you do that, then you slowly start doing more quality content, quality over quantity. When you first start off, when you first start off, you aren't going to have a thousand viewers watching your insane edit. It's not going to get seen because no one, you have no one there to see it. You need to, you need to get your, your content out as fast as you can. Just start spewing out content. And then after you do all of that, then you could start, when you start building a community, start building your followers up, start building your subscribers up, then that's when you can make the more quality content and you can start uploading less, but put out better content. Trust me, this will work. I've been through it. I've done, I, I'm starting to do a lot of videos. I've seen, I'm starting to see how other people are growing. And that's one of the things they start spewing out content and then they slow down and start doing more quality content. Trust me, it works. That pretty much goes for all, all of those socials besides Twitter. I think Twitter is the only social you shouldn't be spewing out content on. I think Twitter is one of the most like Twitter is one of the places where you like inform your viewers on everything. I think Twitter is kind of like an update app. Um, something similar to Discord. I feel like Discord could be the same thing. Like, if you don't have a Twitter, you need a Discord. If 
vice versa. If you don't have a Discord, you need a Twitter. Twitter and Discord are kind of like update apps. They kind of keep everyone up to date on what's happening in your streaming career or YouTube career, whatever. You got to let your viewers know and let your followers know that's that's where you're updating it, updating your channel, updating people on when you're going to stream. For myself, I personally tell everyone to turn on my notice on Twitter just so they can keep up to my up to date on my streams and YouTube on on everything, because that's where that's where you're going to grow. That's where you're going to keep your fan base active on your channel. If you're not going to stream one day or you're not you're going on vacation, not going to stream for a week, you can't you can't leave your viewers wondering where you went. You got to find a place to inform your viewers where you're going. Be like, hey, I'm going on vacation. I'm not going to be here um, this week. I'm going to be uploading a video. I'm going to be uploading a video every day this week, but I'm not going to be streaming at all. And then now, now your viewers know now they're going to be hyped up for your YouTube videos. And then they're going to be excited for when you come back because they know you're not gone. Just leaving, abandoning your Twitch without saying anything is such a big like mistake that I see a lot of people do. Because a lot of people think you gave up and you quit streaming, which is not the case. You may, you may just be on vacation. You may just be busy. But you got to inform your viewers on where you're going, if you're going to go. And maybe do a little something to make back for them. Maybe like when you come back, you do a 24-hour stream. Hype it up. Hype it up, dude. Like, hell yeah. This isn't going to happen overnight. This will never happen overnight. Name one streamer that blew up within a week. Like, it doesn't happen. I've been streaming for two and a half years now, and, I, and I'm averaging around like 19, 20 viewers. And I'm still, I'm still going to be on that grind. I have, two dot, I have 2.5K followers, and I, I'm pretty confident to say that the last two or three months have been the most growth I ever had because I put all of these together and I I just went to work on every social and it's been nothing but like amazingness dude like I don't is that even a word like bro just trust me on this if if this does work let me know I would love to see if you guys have any questions for me please let me know I'll answer all the comments down below I love talking to you guys. If you have any questions, I am live every day around 7 p.m. EST. I love to talk to you guys. I love to vibe with you guys. It would mean the world if you come through. Thank you guys for watching the video all the way through. Hopefully these tips help you out and you could grow and become a successful Twitch streamer. I would love to see that from you guys. Love, I love helping you guys out. Hopefully I can see you around in some of my other videos. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hopefully, I see you in my stream. And uh, I'll see you guys all later. Peace.